Hey guys, welcome to another YouTube video. I am glad to be back making tutorials for you. I've just been really, really busy on other projects, but I am really glad to be back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do the double exposure technique. This effect is popular with photographers. You can create this effect using two photos, or in this case, two videos, because today we're going to create the double exposure effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay notified for my latest uploads. Also, follow my social media accounts to stay up to date with the latest projects I'm working on. And let me know in the comments below what DaVinci Resolve tutorials you want to see on this channel. This effect is easy and quick to do. You can do this effect in any editor that has blend modes like Premiere Pro, Final Cut and Sony Vegas. For the two clips, you want the main footage of your subject in front of a white or light coloured background. If you don't have access to a solid coloured background, you can also film in front of a, a window to make the background overexposed and your subject correctly exposed to see detail. I filmed this clip up against a off-white wall. It wasn't pure white, but I just got an LED light and lit up the side here. And then I got another one filling up the other side. For the second footage, you'd want some sort of stock footage. So I've got this because I like the colors in this clip and I've got some more stock footage of like drone shots and nature sort of scapes. Vibrant colors and all of that looks very nice with this technique. Okay, so let's actually start this tutorial. So what you want to do is you import your clip and then you want to go over to the color tab and you want to make sure that you're on your color wheels in the primary wheels and go to page one and we're going to bring the saturation all the way down to zero and that will make your footage black and white now if you look at this picture here it's not completely white the white wall there's a bit of gray and that will affect your footage all you need to do is you go to curves and all you got to do is just bump up the exposure that looks about right here and then I'm just going to bring some detail back and make my face a bit darker. Yes, that is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. I love using this camera. I've been using it for the past few months. And a review is coming very soon, so definitely subscribe for that one. So now we're just going to go back to the Edit tab. And since now it's black and white, I'm actually going to raise this clip up in the timeline. And I'm just going to import my stock footage. I'm going to put it in my timeline below. So now you can't see anything because what we need to do is you want to make sure that your main bit of footage is selected and you want to go to the inspector tab and you want to go to composite mode and go down to lighten. Now once you click lighten you'll notice that whatever was darker or black the other image comes through and the white background stays white. You can adjust this effect in the color tab and if you want to bring back more details you just adjust if you want to see a bit more. I think that looks good there and now we can see more detail. That's how you do the double exposure technique. I might actually add some more stock footage. Drone shots work really, really well, even time lapse shots. Yeah, that's how you do the double exposure technique. This is a really easy effect to do, it's really creative, it looks nice. And yeah, um, that's how you create the double exposure technique inside of DaVinci Resolve. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.